Giant Unicorn Rainbows Bye. So, do you have a bunch of these laying around your house? American Girl catalogs? We sure do. I do. <laughs> we like to keep these. And today we're going to show you why. We're going to show you today crafts you can do with your American Girl catalogs. So grab your favorite doll and let's get crafting. Okay, so number one, cards. cards. Thank you cards, Easter cards, Thanksgiving cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards, whatever you want. So like if it was a Christmas catalog, you could do a Christmas card. If it's a spring catalog, you could do an Easter card. But today we're gonna do a birthday card and a thank you card. And we just have card stock and we are just folding it in half. Now, of course, you could just use construction paper or just paper even. Um, but we're just choosing cardstock to be sturdier. Yeah, and if you don't have cardstock but you want it to be a little sturdier, you can even use just one of these kind of folders and just cut it to size. Ready to send? Yep, so um, here they are. I just went with the Welly Wisher theme. How cute. Okay, number two. So now um, we're gonna make doll books. Yes, so if you look through your catalog, now you don't have to do it this way, you can pick any picture you want, just you'd have to make it doll sized. But in this old catalog, we found these pictures of books, so that would be good for an 18 inch size. And, and then, then we found this size. This size, which this would be good for maybe a welly wisher, but I think this would still be good for an 18 inch doll. We're gonna make both sizes today <laughs> so you can see how it looks. And in this catalog, there are a ton of book covers. So just look through all your catalogs and see what book covers you have. And you don't have to do, you can, oh look, there's all the welly wishers, which is perfect. Um, then they have like these kind of books, the different ones like this. And so you can really make any book you want. And if you don't see a book you like, then just pick any picture and make it. Okay, so here we're just cutting them out and gluing them on to cardstock with a little leftover for the back and putting on packing tape. Okay, so here are our little books so far and what we're going to do is... Add the thumb, so it's time to cut. Well, not yet. Now it's time to glue. So as you can see here, we're just sandwiching the foam between uh, our book and then trimming off the excess. So now we've got our dolls and our books. So this is a comparison. So this is the smaller one that I did, and I that think that is way better for Welly Wisher. That's Look pretty good this. for Welly Wisher. It doesn't. I don't think it looks terrible. I think it looks, mm, you don't like I it for it American Girl, or I mean, great. 18 inch size. Yeah. You got to bring this down. You're not showing it. So that's the other size. And this is with Joss. She's and that's comparable to one of these, like one of the actual like, it's like American exactly Girl books. Exactly the same size. Yeah. So that's good. Oh my gosh, it's exactly the same time. Yep. But this is good for Welly Wisher. Yes. Okay, number three, paper dots. Yes, so. Um, All you need is cardstock for the structure. Or paperboard or whatever you got. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, I didn't mean to do that. So what I did was I just took a piece of cardstock, folded this down like this, and this is gonna be used to make the roof. And it doesn't have to be cardstock. You can just use paper if you don't have cardstock. Yes, that's what I was saying. So you can use paperboard, card, uh, paperboard. Card you could stock, use a folder, whatever you've got. And, and then you just glue that. Glue this to the top of this. And so I'm making a Joss Wayne. You're making a Pretty Baby Nursery, correct? Yes. So we've already actually cut out all our pieces. Um, so yours is Joss themed. And I'm gonna do a bitty baby themed one. And if you're feeling extra Joss crafty, you can go check out our uh, recreation video for her accessories. Yes, we did a DIY Joss accessories where we recreated Joss's um, accessories. I think it turned out pretty good. Okay, I messed up on that, but that's okay. I'm just gonna snip that off. Ooh. Okay, so here's our basic structure. And now let's fill it up. So the point of this is you have all the, you cut out all your little pieces that you want for your house, but you don't glue them down because then you can keep reusing them and rearranging them and doing whatever you'd like. Um, now you could glue them down if you wanted, like maybe you could glue down some furniture pieces so they're permanently in 
a certain spot. But the best thing about this is you can do whatever you want. It's a lot of fun to create. Cut out a ton of stuff. So like here's a little, what would this be? Changing table, the high chair, a little, what is this thing called? Carrier. Carrier. Diaper bag. How many babies? Blanket. I only cut out two babies. Now the thing you'll want to look for when you cut out the baby <laughs> is finding a baby that's by itself and not over, not anything else touching it. You want it to be kind of. So I have two, two babies. Yes. Hi, babies. And uh, where's my Joss doll? Here she is. Yeah, there's your Joss. Now you mentioned before, if you can find a picture of a doll that you like in your catalog, you oh, could no. just, is she too big? Oh. That's all right. If you don't like um, a picture of a doll in your catalog, you can always draw your own doll and then just cut out all the pictures. That is supposed to be a stove, this black thing I'm coloring in. She's gonna have a giant videos on her um, <laughs> thing there. So this is one we did a long time ago. So you just made this house like this. I'm going to make a really tall shelf for Joss's room. And we just keep them in a bag, the pieces. But this one is pretty cool because you cut out like the kitchen and let's see, I'll bring it down here. The kitchen. This was Gabriella's stuff. Julie's bed. And then you cut out a little Mary Ellen. She can hang out in there. Here's a couch. So you can just cut out all kinds of furniture too. This time we didn't really cut out a whole lot of furniture. We just cut out more like accessories, accessories and stuff, but that's a tiny bed. That's a little too tiny. And then of course food and different things. Oh, here's Kaya. Oh. <laughs> she gets to hang out too. So those are the dollhouses. Mm -hmm. And you can really, really customize those a lot. It is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Four bookmark. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take some bookmark you already have. We just grabbed this one, and you're is just gonna use American that. Girl. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Find a picture you like, put it on top of the picture, trace around it. Then we're gonna glue it onto paperboard, paper and board. then we're going to put some packing tape around it, poke a hole in the top, put some yarn in. Here we go. I got so many wrinkles in mine, I don't like that. So um, I made mine a little shorter because it was my plan wasn't working out, but anyway. Also, I don't know if it would work better to cut it out and then put the packing tape on and then you can have it on the front and the back. This looks, to me looks a little strange, like maybe I should put it on the back too, but oh well. Okay, I've got a book. Nice. Good. Do you want to test out yours? Sure. Put it in there. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Number five. Doll size Polaroids. So, um, let's, um. So first you need to find some good sized, uh, doll heads. Yes. They need to be tiny. Yeah, like this. So we found this and we thought these were perfect. And plus there's a whole lineup of of dolls here. And then you can put those, hang those up in your doll room. Why isn't it focusing? Hang those up in your doll room or do whatever you want with them. Yeah, and she can put them in a drawer or something and be like, I remember that. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Number six, doll tote bag. Yes, so for this you're gonna need packing tape, um, ruler, scissors, pencil. And we have a doll tote bag. This is just to use as a template so you can um, figure out what size you want. So basically all I'm gonna do is, I already found my picture I'm gonna use. 
Um, just measure out your bag on your picture and then um, we're going to use packing tape to tape it all together and make some straps. You can do it two different ways. You can cut out one piece and fold it in half or you can cut out two separate pieces and put them together because I'm going to do one piece because this will look good. I'm going to do this and fold it in half. But if you can't find a piece that has something underneath that's, you know, good or will look okay upside down, then you'll need to cut out two separate pieces. So here I am just creating the main part for the bag and then the straps. The straps are just two long pieces folded in half and then I'm just covering them with packing tape. Lots and lots of packing tape. It. There's the bag and um, a couple mishaps on the way there, but uh, <laughs> packing tape is not my friend. I'm not very good at packing tape, but anyway, uh, so there were a couple rips. That but... is adorable. Well, thank you. And there she goes. She can wear her little tote bag. bag. She can bring that to the beach. So I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna grab our books and put them in there. Oh, that's a good idea. So now Joss has got some books to put in her bag. So it's the perfect size for putting your doll books in. There we go. And, um, you know, the more packing tape on the handles, um, you know, that's why I kept wrapping it because to make it more sturdy. Um, so, yeah. Number seven. Posters for your doll. Yes. So this is just an example of an American Girl one. And so um, we're just going to cut out some things from the catalogs. And, and we found this perfect little Zelly Wisher one, and I'm going to cut out Will. Yeah, those are really cute. And um, you don't have to make it this size. Obviously, you can make it whatever size you want, but we're just going to glue them onto some cardstock just to make them a little more sturdy. And this is our posters. Here they are. Do, do, do. You can hang them up in your doll's room or your dollhouse. Number eight. <laughs> Cover a notebook or folder. So we have these nasty old folders <laughs> and we're just gonna repurpose them and uh, cover them with American Girl stuff. So let's get started. Here's my Joss one, and there's your Welly Wisher one. Very cute. I like how it says, meet the Welly Wishers. Oh, and Carrot and Emerson. Very nice. And if you wanted to, you could cover this with packing tape to help it last um, better, longer. Um, we're not going to do that right now because packing tape is, um, you know. Not your friend. No. But there they are. I think they look pretty cute. Yeah. Number nine. Poster for yourself. Yeah. So we did a doll poster, poster for your doll, now I'll do a poster for yourself. So I'm going to do this is, themed. Yep, and this is pretty straightforward, just basically create a collage on a piece of paper. So we're using cardstock, but as we mentioned before, you can use anything. You can use a piece of paper, construction paper, a, a folder, a paperboard, anything you've got. This is my Welly Wisher poster. And this is Luciana, because we have Luciana. So, so I thought that'd be cute. 
Yeah, you can just hang up these sweet doll posters. In your room or yeah. wherever you like. Yeah. And the big number 10. Yes, a uh, pencil jar. So we're going to take um, just, this was a, what was in these? Pickles. Pickles. These were pickle jars. Um, and by the way, the easiest way that I found, at least with these, it worked really well. All I did was put um, Dawn soap and water and then just, uh, it just started to peel off. It was really simple. So have a clean jar. And then we just mixed up some school glue with some water. And um, you could also use Mod Podge, but we just used glue. Now we're gonna do two versions. And the this one, is the first version. Okay, so your version, you just take uh, the picture you want and um, size it to your jar, cut it how you want it, and then just slide it down in there. And then you wanna get that other picture so we can put that on the other side. Okay. This, one, this version is uh, not permanent and you can switch it out whenever you want. So you can change up the picture all the time. And you can tape those pieces together if you'd like. Now let me put some stuff in there. Let's put some Sharpies in. See how it looks. <laughs> Sharpies, scissors. Glue. Glue. So there is that version. So it kind of looks like this. I, I like thought that it. was really cute, helping I'm put, hands. I'm gonna put that on my desk. Does that look cute? I'm definitely gonna put that on my desk. And then, um, yeah, so that you could switch up all the time. We changed angles so you can see this better, what we're doing. But anyway, here's the jar. It looks like that. Okay, so we've already cut out our pieces. Um, we're gonna do a Joss themed one, big surprise. Uh, we've been doing, <laughs> it was actually hard for us to find uh, pictures because we've been doing so much Joss stuff. But all we're gonna do is just glue these onto the jar. And I just wanted to mention that one of the things I like to do is if I'm ever in the American Girl store, they have the catalogs there and I grab a couple when we're there to have for these type of things, crafting. So let's get started. Okay, we're switching to Mod Podge because I put way too much water in the glue. Yeah. So let's just do this. need to let it dry so we switched over to Mod Podge and then we covered all the cracks where we didn't have any Mod Podge just so it looked consistent and didn't look weird mm -hmm. and you can see their eyeball from the other mm -hmm. the other picture <laughs> you can see it on her cheek but that's because we kind of have a lot of light shining down in it I wish that I would have put that over top of that but I didn't realize it wasn't gonna fit so I kind of messed that up but anyway there it is I'm just gonna let it dry now okay what was your favorite craft my favorite one, you tell me first. No, you do. Okay, my favorite was this. Um, I thought it turned out a lot cooler than what I expected it to, and I like it because it's functional for your doll. Like, you can actually put things in it and let your doll use it. What was your favorite? Either the folder, that, or the dollhouses. I like the dollhouses a lot, too, because um, those are a lot of fun to play with, and we're gonna play with the Bitty Baby one here in just a minute. I hope this inspired you to get crafty when you see all your American Girl catalogs piling up. That's right, so now when you look at your American Girl catalog and you think, man, that picture is so cute. What can I do with it? Well, hopefully now you uh, have some ideas. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and, yep, and share and all that. Day. And um, I hope you try all these crafts, so. Yep. Bye. Bye.